Hi guys! So this is part two of my haul. Hopefully that's centered. I'm really new to filming in here again. Um, and it's propped on my uh, storage box and then on my makeup case. Um, so I'll get on with it. Um, this one is Sephora, MAC, and Nordstrom's. And Walmart, I guess. I'll throw in there. Um, so I'll start with MAC just because that's the interesting... Well, not the interesting. That's the one I went to the mall for. I planned on getting um, the eye quads. And I kind of looked at them. And I just bought a bunch of eyeshadows. Like, I got them in the 15 cases. And I bought, like, 35 eyeshadows. Because they were the ones I'd had for over a year and hadn't picked up yet. So now I have a couple cases like this. One isn't quite full yet. Actually, I'm going to be using one. Two, if I can find it. This one's not full by any means yet. And I took a bunch of the eyeshadows out of my quads to like put them in with this. Uh, I'm going to be using Gorgeous Gold in my look. So I'll keep this one out. Um, but, I, all of them I either had dupes for or weren't that great to spend another $38 on a quad. So, I was kind of disappointed because I, you know, I ended up spending only $50, which is a miracle for me at MAC. Um, I got, let's just start right away, I got Feline Eye Coal, Coal Power. And I've heard rave reviews about how great this is. Comes out with like every other or every third collection, so I don't know why they don't just make it permanent. But it's just a black eye coal. But it, I've heard it's just good. It's just good. And it seems really creamy, so that's good. Um, let me leave that out here because I'm gonna use it now. Um, eh. Figure out what I'm doing. God dang it, kitty. No. Down. What a day. Just feel like I'm all off. Ah, uh, it was a long day yesterday, so maybe that's why. Blue candy. I ended up getting just this one because it was just such a standout blue. Not sure how well you can tell what blue color. Actually, it's showing up pretty true to color. Maybe a bit brighter, but that's actually really true to color. I'm, I'm happy with that. Ah! So, this one I just like because it's such a blue. It's so pretty. It's just going to be one of those colors. And it reminds me of Electric Eel. Actually, it's, it's like almost identical in the pot to Electric Eel. You can see that? I hope those are showing up still. Um, so Electric Eel is a satin, and this one is also a satin, so they're basically the same color. Yeah, blue candy looks a little subdued. That's about it. If I'd have known, I probably wouldn't have got it, but I thought it was going to be different, and when I looked at it in the store, didn't really see what they if you pair these together on an eye look, it just look like the same eye. And when I rub it, I guess blue candy looks more blue. <laughs> like, that's just me trying to rub it off. Blue candy looks more blue, and eh, electric eel looks more teal. But, honestly, nobody would be able to tell. And the last thing I was so excited that I'm going to use in my look today would have been Emerald Dusk Pigment. So excited. I was very tempted to get violet pigment and violet pigment and sorry I'm blinking. Tan. But they're permanent, so I kinda pushed them back saying like if I really want them I can get them another time. Uh, pigments are just really pretty. I feel like the formula in me don't get along too much, but I'm just gonna take what's on the cap and like show you guys. Can you see? It's like a dirty emerald shimmery color. It's really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So anyways, I'm doing luck with that today for sure. And I believe that's everything that I got from there at least. thought about trying one of their foundations, but I just, I don't know, I was getting kind of overwhelmed <laughs> with all the stuff I was looking at and getting. Um, and then from Nordstrom's, this is what I bought. I bought the normal Weighty Katie Butter London Nail Polish. And I was so excited about this. I don't know if you can do it. It is like a shimmery purple, dirty gray purple. It's so pretty. And it was $14. Kind of not cool. I love the Mall of America because it's so big, but at the same time, I think that's part of why I get overwhelmed. Oh. Oh, well, I always thought that was actually a cap. I guess not. I don't like it like that, so I'm glad they put the little cap on. Anyways, really random. Um, and then I got two samples of the Chanel Perfection Lumiere, which came actually... I got one... Well, I got two in my magazine, which is why I wanted to try the matte one, and she just really steered me towards this. That's probably what they're supposed to do. She, like, asked me questions, but then didn't ask... It was kind of like she was chatting with me, but she wasn't really listening. So I think that's a salesperson thing, and it's Chanel, so they're... Honestly, they can be a bit stuck up, I think. Um, so 60 beige, and that was way too dark for me. I had that on yesterday, and I had to tan up my neck to go with it. Like, I just dragged it everywhere. And then trying to get color match, I'm like, oh god, they're not gonna do it right. Because <laughs> I'm so far off from what I should be. She gave me 20 beige and 30 beige. Um, so we'll see if those work, because I don't know. But, they did a cute little bottle. This one is exactly, this little bottle came in this bigger container too, in case you're curious. I don't know. So yeah, I really like those. I'm really excited to try those. And then Sephora. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And like the salesperson there, I recognized her and I was really not happy because I just, I'd had her before and she wasn't, she was kind of rude when I had her. So I wasn't sure, but she was okay tonight, today. She wasn't like I've had them where they're so friendly and they talk to you and they're like the best people ever. Like you just want to like talk to them forever. And she wasn't like that so. Alright. So I have a free sample. Two. Well I, I got one just they threw it in here apparently. Dr. Brandt Dark Circle Away Collagen Eye Serum. I don't know what it is but I guess these are like the new thing because yeah, I don't know. I didn't know they gave me that sample. They didn't even say anything. <laughs> kind of weird. Okay. Alright. Um, so much stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'll start in order of how I use them. Oh. Uh, foundation primer from Laura Mercier. And um, this one's oil-free because... That's what I'd need. I looked at the Smashbox one. This one is less expensive, plus I plan on getting so much of the Laura Mercier stuff that I'm one of those weird people I like to match things. I really was interested in Urban Decay Light only because it was such a cult fad. Uh, so this is Laura Mercier. There's like 1.7 ounces and it was $30. And the Smashbox was one ounce for like 36 I want to say. So yeah, this was cheaper with more. <laughs> uh, I really hope I like it. <laughs> I just took it out of the packaging right now. And I got Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the Oil Free SPF 20 Oil Free. And this one is in Fawn, I believe. Fawn. So I got color match to, like, all the stuff here. <laughs> Except the, the Secret Camouflage Concealer I also got. And I, d I didn't color match for that. I color matched myself. I was hoping. Um, and it's kind of like when you mix together. So I can always use molds for one side. And if I get darker, use the other one. Whatever. Okay. And <laughs> the Laura Mercier. Uh, I got the Secret Camouflage Concealer. And I got the this one. 
There's one that's in a round thing with powder on the bottom. That one's a little more and you get lots less concealer. And I was mostly interested in the concealer because I have my, uh, what's it called? I ha already have my one thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blanking, but yeah. So this is the third one. It's, it's looking really washed out. I think that's why the colors look good, but brighter, which is good for colors. Not so much for skin stuff. I look really white. I don't know. I don't know how to make that look right. Okay, but anyways, it's it should be the right color now that I'm looking at it. It looks a little yellow based, which actually mixed together, they'll be fine. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. As that was one of the few things I was kind of getting concerned about. And I'll just do foundations real quick. I got two samples, NARS Sheer Matte in Barcelona, which I love the name. It's just a little sample. This one is supposed to wear kind of like a tinted moisturizer, though. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to use today in my tutorial, because I kind of want more coverage, but then again, maybe I'll just use tinted moisturizer. I'll use a tinted moisturizer, and then... I'm blanking. Wow. Tint oh, a concealer on my bright guts and use tinted moisturizer over it. Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This one's in Cashew Beige. I used to be Rose Ivory. I've been Bisque in the Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, I was Bamboo Beige before. So, and just all sorts of beiges. It all depends. Everybody matches you different. Like, I swear you could have three people match you and it'll be different. And it kind of scares me, but... And then the last thing I got for just face stuff, like face normal, not really normal, but I guess I count this as like a face, base, there we go, face base, <laughs> long lasting makeup setting spray by Urban Decay, and I want to try this, and you just hold it away, spritz, spritz, or one big spritz in the middle, I don't know how you, I probably will do one here, one down there from farther away. And it's supposed to set your makeup, so I'm extra excited about that. It's oil-free, of course. Um, they have an oil no more, but I wasn't so sure I needed that as much as that one. And then I got Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara Long Wearing Formula in Black Brown. Such a cute little bottle. It's just tiny. Ugh. I thought about getting a mascara from there that was like... The Bad Girl Lash from Benefit or Benefit's new They're Real. But I just, it was really hard because the brushes, like it's hard for me because the mascara is something you can't like look at and be like, oh yeah, that's high quality. I mean, the brushes sometimes look similar to drugstores or I look at the brushes and I see nothing exciting about them. I, I just, I don't get excited when I see a spooled brush. Like I'm just like, oh, I don't know what that does. <laughs> Alright, and then four. I'm so excited about these two. These were probably the more expensive things I got just because they're Dior. Dior. So I got the Matte Sunshine Bronze in O2, which is Honey Matte. And it comes in a little thing, a little velvet thing, and a little case. Ooh, pretty. It's like an bra brown color, this little thing, and it looks like that, and it's just a bronzer. I thought it was really light, and then I kind of put it on my finger and tried it on my face, like in the corner, and my face was so dark, and it was still darker, so I realized I was just being silly. Kitty, I'm going to kill you! Grr! Not really, but I'm still angry that you did that. Knocked over stuff. Alright, so, kind of want to keep it in its cute little pouch. Is that weird? Yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the pouch though. Alright, and this one is Dior Skin. Dior Skin Padre Shimmer. Star Shimmer, something like that. <laughs> In Amber Diamond 02. Everybody has pretty much heard of this. If you watched, like, um, Pixie 2 Woo. She is in love with this. I had to get it because she's just awesome too. 
There we go. So yeah, that is that. My battery's dying. That's not a good sign. Because I have to film my makeup stuff. So maybe I'll, I'll have to plug it in while I do. Still. Alright, so Walmart. I'm trying to think. I don't know what I got anymore. <laughs> Forget. Oh, okay. So I got two workout things. Dancing with the Stars. The Latin cardio dance. Because I really am into the Latin dance thing. Uh, and the Pussycat Dolls Dancers Body Workout with, like, their music in the background. That's kind of why I got it, too. I figured I kind of like their music. I'd be amped to dance for it. To it. <laughs> okay, and then I got ear pollution plugs. Which sound weird, but they're just earphones. <laughs> and I got the two goodie spin pins and the mini ones and the bigger ones. And it gives you, like, style ideas, how to use them. I just did the dark hair because eventually I will be dark haired again. And I think they'll blend enough into my red hair than the blonde would. And then I got the big bun spiral. So I'm excited to try those. I've heard good things, so I'm hoping they really do work. Because I have such thick hair, it's weird to me to try new stuff. Like, I just always worry it's not going to be good with my hair. Alright, and then this is an exciting one. Um, well, I got deodorant. That's not so exciting. This is the Go Sleeveless Pearl Finish. I do like it, but I also left that at my ex's house. Um, batteries, you know, the usual. Not really exciting, some of it. I got this one, Dial Nutri-Skin, Extra Dry Skin. I was looking at all these different lotions. I'm not quite done with mine, but it's getting low, so I just picked this up to, so that I don't wind up with no lotion all of a sudden. Um, I smelled all these other really expensive ones, and they were, like, terrible smelling, like, just pharmaceutical, I don't know, doctor, old people smelling to me. Um, this one smells really good, and I was, like, I didn't even look at the price until afterwards, and it was, like, three bucks, so... It just smells fresh and clean. It's really good, and it's by Dial. But as long as it is a good... It looks good. It looks pretty, but I didn't realize it was Dial until afterwards. But that's fine by me. Alright, and then I got clip-in hair things. Which I like these because they've got the clip clip, not the, like, barrette-style clip. And they've got, like, a cute little spokesperson girl on the back, and she's got them clipped in. And I got big black feathers, two of them, there, and then this one's got a little blue-purple feather, and then it's got longer brown things, and then the peacock one. So I'm wearing one of these today, I don't know which one, I'll figure that out in a bit. I think the long black ones would go, because I'm just wearing a black tank top and jeans. Alright, and then for the rest of it, is all makeup again. I got Great Lash Mascara in the spool brush. I tried the Great Lash Mascara in high school and I remember I didn't like it. But I just wanted to try it again now that I know more about makeup and it does get so many good reviews. So many. It's like got a cult following, you know. So I wanted to try that. And then I wanted to try the Lash Blast Fusion. I've tried the yellow one that lengthens and the, um, the red one when it was the luxe sparkle and I wasn't a huge fan but this one's supposed to volume and lengthen so like I feel okay about buying these because they were six or five dollars not thirty so it's really hard for me to buy expensive mascara because I just can't tell from this brush if I'm gonna like it or not this brush is somewhat similar to the like um they're real but then it's like they're different. They create different looks, but yet they look similar. So I, I get irritated. And this is Revlon Grow Luscious in Emerald. I'll be using this with the Emerald Dusk today on probably my lower lash line. Not my waterline, just my lower lash line. And oh my god, it's like super shimmery and pretty. I hope you guys can see that. So shimmery, so pretty. Oh, yes can't stop moving so it's not going to focus but it's really pretty and I want to try this I like the Grow Luscious stuff um, 
anything that will help my lashes grow. And then I got st Lines Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Black is Black. So this is just a regular liner. I just think my physicians will dry out pretty soon. It, it's getting to the point where every once in a while it starts to dry out as I'm using it. So that's why I got that. So that should be everything. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to wash my face, plug my camera in, let it charge, and then I'll come back and try to do an actual makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.